to testify or not to testify, that is now the question for former White House counsel Pat Cipollone. Let's talk about that, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So the January 6th House Select Committee has now subpoenaed former White House counsel Pat Cipollone because Cipollone has some information, some evidence about Donald Trump's crimes. Here's the new reporting in The Hill. Headline, Pat Cipollone can aid or impede January 6th Committee's Search for the Truth. And that article begins, On June 29, the January 6th Committee subpoenaed former Trump White House counsel Pat Cipollone to testify. Cipollone faces what should be an easy choice. He can honor the oath that he took as a lawyer and public servant and share what he saw, said, and heard during the events surrounding the criminal assault on the Capitol, or he can serve as Tom Hagen to Donald Trump's Don Corleone, acting as a consigliere shielding the mob boss at all costs. Now friends, for anybody with even just some minimal sense of patriotism, this should be an easy call. For anybody with even a casual concern about the health of our democracy, this should be an easy call. Because it's clear, Cipollone has some important information to share with the J6 committee and by extension with the American people. Remember what he told Cassidy Hutchinson? We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable if Trump goes to the Capitol. So yeah, Pat Cipollone, needs to testify. But what if he chooses not to? Well, then he's actively covering up Donald Trump's crimes and actively covering up the federal crimes of another constitutes accessory after the fact. Read along with me. Whoever, knowing that an offense against the United States has been committed assists the offender in order to hinder or prevent his apprehension, trial, or punishment is an accessory after the fact. And actively covering up the federal crimes of another also constitutes the crime of misprision of a felony. Whoever, having knowledge of the commission of a felony cognizable in the court of the United States, which simply means it's a federal crime, conceals and does not as soon as possible make known the same to some judge or other person in authority under the U.S. commits the crime of misprision of a felony. Now, okay, technically Cipollone has already committed the crime of misprision of a felony because he's had knowledge of Donald Trump's crimes for going on 18 months now, ever since Donald Trump launched an armed attack on the U.S. Capitol, incited an insurrection. So, yeah, old Pat's probably already committed that crime, but let's not quibble. Let's still give him the chance to come forward now and do the right thing. But, you know, even in addition to accessory after the fact, and misprision of a felony, if Pat Cipollone refuses to testify, refuses to incriminate Donald Trump, continues to cover up Trump's crimes, well, that will breathe life into the notion that Pat Cipollone remains a member of Donald Trump's ongoing criminal conspiracy. So let's hope that Cipollone does the right thing. Let's hope he agrees to testify fully, truthfully, about everything he knows 
regarding the insurrection. Let's hope that to Pat Cipollone, justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.